Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Taurus for your March 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We're going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of uh, what this person wants from you. This could be with new love, uh, current love, past love. Uh, so apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Taurus people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, uh, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about um, Taurus. Taurus. Taurus and love. The person that Taurus is dealing with, thinking of, what does this person want from Taurus? What does this person want from Taurus? Like I said, this could be with new love, current love, old love, okay? What does this person want with Taurus? What does this person want with Taurus? All right, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So it could be an indication that this person's in love with you here. Yeah, this person's in love with you with the Eight of Pentacles here. I don't know. I feel like this person's definitely putting a lot of effort here to make this connection work. Ten of Wands here with the High Priestess here, Cancer, Pisces. I feel like this person's definitely feeling very, very, very overwhelmed by you here. You know, and I feel like, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person definitely finds you someone who, who's very attractive, who's very abundant here. You know, if this person's been hiding this th these feelings here for you, you know, about how they feel, I feel like this person's about to burst at the seams here. This person's about to tell you the truth about how they feel here because I feel like this person has been avoiding how they feel, distracting themselves here, you know, uh, you know, doing what they have to do to get by here. Uh, but I feel like this person definitely is emotionally about to open up to you. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, and the Nine of Pentacles here. Uh, tell me about the uh, King of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands. It seems like this person is really walled off. Very, 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 very guarded here. It seems like this person has, you know, the reason why that this person has behaving this way is this person's been hurt a lot. This person has been hurt a lot in the past here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. And I feel like this person tends to keep a lot of things to themselves. So it could be a situation that you don't really quite know a lot about this person. Maybe this person has shared little little tidbits about them, uh, you know, uh, their story here, their past here. But this person hasn't really shared a whole lot. This person ha carries out around a lot of trauma with them here. The Ten of Wands here and the Ace of Pentacles. The High Priestess. And the, oh, wow. Um, this person's in love with you and they feel like this person's about to tell you that. This person wants commitment here with you. They want prosperity here with you. And they feel like this person cannot hold back their feelings any longer here. This person is about to unload on you. I feel like this person might even cry. Yeah, I feel like this person's also very, very, very sensitive, but they come off as someone who's very, very, very strong. Um, so we have the Nine of Pentacles here and with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sash, and the Ace of Swords here, and a Sun. So we have the King to Queen of Wands here. This is a true pair, you guys. This is a soulmate connection here. And I feel like you make this person really, 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 really happy here, Taurus. What else do we have here for Taurus? Oh, that one. Hold on one sec. Tell me about Taurus here. Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know? Look out for a work on. What will happen if Taurus allowed this person back into your life or if Taurus continue moving forward with this individual? For Taurus, for Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, let's see. Oh, that's too many. Let's try that again. The Hermit Virgo energy. It's so interesting. This is the card that fell out too. The Hermit Virgo energy and the Page of Swords here. Seems like this person went into some sort of hermit mode. I do feel like this person eventually will contact you via text 
and wanting to talk, wanting to tell you how they feel. We have the death card here, Scorpio energy here in the Seven of Cups. So what happened is that I feel like you were confused by this whole situation and you feel like you're going to, if you ended things with this person, I feel like you're going to keep the door closed on this person here. You know, um, I just feel like, you know, if this person also wants to explore other options here, this person is definitely choosing you over the other options here with the Emperor Aries energy and with the Justice card Libra energy. So someone here is definitely coming in to tell you the truth here. Yeah, tell you the truth about how they feel. It seems like they were definitely trying to push their feelings away or maybe just, you know, uh, distract themselves by dealing with other people so they don't have to feel what they feel about you. You know, I feel like this person definitely... This person definitely has your heart here, you know, or that you have their heart. And, you know, and I feel like this person definitely is hiding that or they've been hiding that forever. Be a hermit. King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, jump into the Page of Swords here in the Four of Wands. Wow. This person wants a lot. This person wants commitment, marriage, happiness, stability here with you. You know, so I feel like this person definitely is hopeful that this is not over and that you guys can move forward in this uh, connection here. The Cherry and the Death card. We have a Seven of Cups here and the Magician. So I feel like what's happening here is I feel like this person is definitely calling in their guides and their angels and their ancestors to help support them in bringing this connection back together here. This person is definitely doing everything, everything, everything that they can to make this work, even with their traumas here. So, you know, it could, you know, it's important to know that, you know, when it comes to someone's traumas, I feel like people can have healthy relationships with all the baggage that they have. It's a matter of tending to that baggage here. Consistently stay on top of it. Consistently working on it. Uh, because if you don't, you obviously you will bleed all over the other person, right? So we have the Justice card here. Why is the Justice card here? The Justice card here and the Fool card. Aries energy, Aquarius energy here. And the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? And the Moon card, Cancer Pisces. This person's definitely going to tell you the truth here. This person's got, definitely going to be in this energy of wanting to take a huge leap of faith here with you or take this risk here with you. Even though they're going through a lot, even though they're holding on to a lot of trauma and a lot of pain here, this person really wants to be with you. This person feels this really strong bond here towards you. This could be a past life relationship. Uh, you know, this could be a past life connection here. Or that this could be indication, perhaps you did drop this person here and this person's coming back towards you for reconciliation because this person's missing you a lot. Okay, we have the Six of Cups here, we have the Six of Swords here, with the Six of Pentacles here. So this is about balance here. This is about coming together and finding that balance together, finding that stability together here and healing. Okay, so this person definitely is trying to gain the courage gain the courage to open up to you regarding their feelings here this person is definitely going to make you a very 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 strong offer here an offer of marriage and commitment here uh, an apology a strong apology here uh, because that justice card is also an indication that this person has really learned some big lessons here and they do feel like this person is definitely changing for the better in order for them to be with you all right so taurus i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.